生息できる将来など永遠に訪れないエレンを奪い返し即帰還するぞ心臓を捧げよう When you hear this intro, what comes to your mind? Erwin's cry stirred up his soldiers, or maybe Levi's action hovered over the Titans. From the music and the title, Attack on Titan clearly promises a spectacular adventure full of action. However, action isn't the only reason I love watching Attack on Titan. With an immersive plot, Attack on Titan. Actually, made me reflect on trauma. In this episode, I would like to invite you to watch Attack on Titan from a new perspective, as a story about maturity and trauma. Furthermore, how trauma is passed down from generation to generation. This is old sensei. You're a sensei for your life. In its true form, Attack on Titan is a coming-of-age story. As the name suggests, this genre uses the point of view of a child character who progresses to maturity or comes of age. But what's so special about children's characters? The coming-of-age genre considers children to be the ideal age for the audience to mature and explore stories. For example, Aaron, his characterization at the beginning of the story was driven by the incident where he saw his mother being eaten alive by a titan and developed as Aaron got older and more experienced. Even when Aaron and friends were growing up, the audience was still invited to understand the story through the eyes of children from other parts of the world, Gabby, Falco, and other Eldia children at Marley. As the characters develop from not knowing to knowing, from innocent to complex, so does the plot of this series. At least there is one common thread between the experiences of each Paradise Boy and Eldia, namely war. It appears not only in literal form, such as being a soldier, but also in cultural form, such as hatred and enmity. War is present in personal and public spaces, until, finally, it creates continuous Attack on Titan's exploration of trauma is vividly demonstrated in the basement. This episode summarizes the origin of the story's conflict, namely the power imbalance between the oppressors and the oppressed, Marley and Eldia. The Attack on Titan conflict is a power struggle between the two nations to become the oppressor so that they will no longer be the oppressed. This is a vicious circle. That continues to occur from generation to generation, as if there were no other options. Starting from the main characters, such as the Jagger and Braun families, to side characters such as Aaron, Kruger, and Peak Finger, it is impressive how Attack on Titan carefully inserts stories of trauma that are passed down between generations, which we also know as inherited trauma. This becomes the main motive for each character's actions, which in turn colors ambiguous morality. The story conflict occurs when the morality and justification of each character collide with each other. One interesting and memorable scene when talking about this clash is the confrontation between Gabby, Kaya, and Falco in episode 70, Counterfeit. Watch how their dialogue depicts trauma rooted in the very past versus trauma that focuses on the current reality of their meeting and dialogue. What did you do for so long? How many times have you been killed by the world's enemies? 
るでしょしゃべるのはやめてでもお母さんはこの辺で生まれ育ったからあなたたちの先祖が犯した罪の大きさが問題なの100年前ってじゃあ今生きている私たちは一体何の罪を犯しているのあら先祖が世界中の人を虐殺したからお母さんは誰も殺してないねえミアちゃんと答えて何のために殺されたのねえ That each party in the conflict is capable of experiencing the same sense of loss without the need to justify their acts of violence. This dynamic between social groups creates a cycle of violence where trauma becomes the justification for war. Marley's aggression was justified through the lens of his citizens responding to LD's attacks on them for thousands of years. Likewise, the restorationist group of the LDA community justified the attack on the basis of self. Liberation from the oppression of the Marley people. This cycle seems to have no end until an alternative solution was presented by Sasha's father, Arthur Braz. That attack on Titan highlights the wider context of the parent child relationship. To start conflict resolution, we can no longer pass it on, let alone burden past. Traumas to the next generation, or as Arthur said, in adulthood we are familiar with the process of learning and unlearning. Efforts to understand the world and efforts to get rid of some previous experience of the world. Returning to the coming of age lens, the alternative offered by Arthur can be interpreted as his attempt to unlearn the values of violence that he previously inherited. We can enjoy Attack on Titan as a show in many layers layers of action packed entertainment, philosophy on war and society, or even psychology and mental health. We can also see Attack on Titan in its original form as a typical shonen coming of age story. Attack on Titan shows us that growing up is not only about understanding how the world works, becoming an adult is also our effort to make peace with past trauma. <laughs>